What's going on guys, I'm Bill and welcome to Bill's How To. Today I'm going to show you guys how to fix a loose tap. Let's do this. Alright guys, so today we've got a very common household problem. We've got a loose tap. Regardless whether it's your sink or a vanity, the process is going to be exactly the same. So I'm going to show you guys just how easy it is to fix this. Um, you don't need very many tools and we're going to save you a bit of money instead of calling out a plumber. Um, so we've got here a spare tap so I can show you guys exactly what's going on underneath before I actually show you how to fix it. Um, so you'll notice there's two lugs on the bottom here. These are your, your adjustment screws. You're either going to have two or there's going to be just one lug. Um, and there's a nut on the end of it. We've got a little uh, plate here that secures everything into position. So generally your kitchen sink will be sitting in between um, the actual body of the tap and this washer right here. Um, so whether it's your vanity or your kitchen sink, it's going to be exactly the same process. The first thing we can do is get a, a flathead screwdriver. If you have a look down the bottom here, this one here is snapped off, um, which happens fairly common actually. Um, and on the other side here, we can also see we've got a section to slot in your flathead screwdriver. Now there's not much room inside the body of um, the tap, so you might not get the maximum adjustment um, using the flathead screwdriver. But generally, if you give that a light uh, turnover to the right, you might be able to tighten that one there up um, if you're lucky and there's only a little bit of adjustment that needs to be made, if there's a lot of adjustment, what you're going to have to do is use an adjustable wrench. So we're going to get underneath there with an adjustable wrench, continuously turn this over until we've completely tightened that up and that will prevent the tap from moving around. Um, obviously under the sink there's uh, very limited room so to get an adjustable wrench in there isn't very convenient or comfortable. So what I like to use is a set of tube spanners. These ones here are very cheap to get your hands on um, and these ones here have a whole range of different sizes. Very, very easy. They simply slot right over the top and then you can uh, turn it from the bottom using your adjustable wrench or we've got a little tool here that we can slot in the little hole down the bottom and turn that over manually. So I'm going to show you guys um, how to fix this now that we, you guys have an idea of exactly what's going on. So let's get underneath the cupboard and I'll show you guys how to do it. So first thing you want to do is make sure you've got your tap sitting nice and straight before we tighten this on. Then we go underneath the sink. So we'll take our tube spanner, slot that over the threads, push it up and then we're going to take our fingers and we're going to get this on hand tight first. So lefty loosey, righty tidy, good way to remember it. Turn it to the right in order to tighten it. So we'll turn that over until it bites on, nice and tight with our hands. Then we're going to take the little uh, tool that I was telling you guys about, which is basically a little steel rod slot that in the bottom and then we can use that as a tensioning tool. So we're going to just tighten that over to the right until we've got it nice and tight. So once we've got that on nice and tight we can then remove our tube spanner and we can test it out from the top. So once you've tightened it from underneath, jump back on top, make sure you're happy with the positioning of the tap, everything's on nice and tight and you're happy with it. It's that simple guys. Hopefully I've saved you guys a bit of money and you've enjoyed the video. As always, like, comment and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Bill. Thanks for watching Bill's Out 2.